What is up, y'all? In today's video, I got a little, little public service announcement for you all. And that announcement is the fact that we are all going to die. Yes, you are going to die. I'm going to die. This temporary thing that we are inhabiting, this being, is going to die. This form that we inhabit, this temporary incarnation, is fucking brief and it's not going to last. It's not going to last, it could be tomorrow, it could be 10 seconds from now, it could be 10 years, it could be 100 years. It doesn't ultimately matter. The fact of the matter is that we're gonna die, all of us. No one is exempt from that. Maybe perhaps in the future we'll discover some type of technology that enables us to achieve immortality, whether that's artificial intelligence, we plug ourselves into some kind of virtual reality, or we develop the medical technology to allow our biological being to exist indefinitely. Perhaps there is the chance of that, there's the possibility, but as of now, all we know for certain is that no one gets out of here alive. So knowing this, what do you want to do with this precious, precious moment that you have? This precious moment that you've been given. How do you want to experience it? How do you want to mold this moment? Because this is all you fucking have. This right now, this is all you have. So what do you want to do with it? What do you want to do? Ask yourself that question. What do I want to do? Really, in your heart of hearts, what do you want to do? What beckons you? What calls you forth? Ask yourself that. Now, you may notice <clears throat> when you come up with this, whatever it is that you want to do, you're gonna come up with a million fucking excuses for why you can't do it. You're probably gonna encounter resistance. Whatever it is you, you feel deep down you wanna do, your mind is gonna come up with excuses. It's gonna come up with resistance. And forces, in a sense, are gonna try to hold you back and keep you stuck in the bullshit. So what I wanna tell you now, and what I want you to repeat to yourself, is my excuses, say with me, my excuses are horse shit. Repeat that. My excuses are horse shit. All your fucking excuses of why you can't do something. It's fucking bullshit. Drop it. It's a waste of your fucking life. Drop that shit. What do you want to do? There's a step that you can take right now to do it. You know what you have to do. Even if that's getting a coach, getting a mentor, someone who can help you to show you what you need to do, you can do that. Oh, you don't have money? Well, offer value of some kind. Do something. If people can see that you truly, truly have the desire to better yourself and to better the lives of those around you, to be of service, if you are asking someone for help, a mentor, a coach, who their lives are dedicated to helping others, uplifting others, right, being of service, and you show them that you truly are open to improving, to changing, to uplifting those around you, to bettering yourself, and in turn, bettering everyone else, they're probably not gonna turn you away. They're probably willing to come up with some sort of value exchange, right? So. You gotta be willing to take the fucking risks, man. You gotta be willing to do it. You gotta just go for it, you know? So many times looking back in my life, I see that the, this, the decision that changed everything was the decision to take a huge fucking risk. And yes, there have definitely been times where I've played it too safe. 
There have definitely been times where I've wasted fucking time fucking off. A lot of time. I look back and I'm like, you know, part of me regrets it. I'm like, damn it, I could have done a lot more. Oh, well, it's in the past. And I appreciate the shit that I did do. The chances I did take when I did go for it. Of course, there are moments I wish I went for it. I didn't. I missed the opportunity. Oh, well. Infinite opportunities. Infinite abundance. But a scarcity of time. A scarcity of the chances you get in this life. You know, yes, there's always more opportunities. And every moment, infinite opportunities. But you've got to choose deliberately, intentionally, which one do you want to grab onto? What do you want to go for? Where do you want to pour your energy? You know, because this life, it's so short, man. None of us make it out here alive. It's so short. It's so brief. So whether you're 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, it doesn't matter how old you are. The time is now. The time is now if you want to do something. There is no time. The Buddha said, the problem is you think that you have time. And I believe the meaning of that quote, at least to me, the meaning is twofold. One, ultimately there is no time. So he's saying you think there's a reality to time. There is no reality to time. There's the appearance of, of change, right? From what we can remember in the past, it appears that this moment is different. And we project that it will continue to change in the future. Yet our direct experience is always centered here, this, now. Right, so he, he, what I believe he meant is that you think time has some sort of absolute reality. It does not. Secondly, you think you have time. You think you have a future. You think you have time to do the things you want to do. Like, oh, I can do that tomorrow. I can do that next week at some other time. There is no other fucking time, man. There's no other time. So whatever you want to do, the time is now, man. The time is now. You just gotta fucking go for it. Take one small step at a time. Whatever you gotta do. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it. The time is now. So that's my message for you guys today. I hope that that was of value. If you like this video, you can click the like, subscribe, shoot me a comment. If you want, um, yeah, I'd love to interact with you guys. I'd love to build this channel more. It's happening. I'm doing it. This is what I felt called to do. I'm doing it in this moment. So, with that, I love you all. Catch you on the next one. Remember to stay in the flow. Live every moment. Live this moment as if you're on the brink of death. Live this moment as if you are on the brink of death. Much love to you. Peace out, y'all.